Yo, what's going on? It's D-Man bringing to you another NBA 2K24 video. So I was messing around on my three level threat. I'm starting to like this build a lot, especially since my hot flyer is kind of useless right now. So I wanted to test the jump shot, right? One of the top players in Pro-Am is using this base right now. And I said, let me try it out. Like I'm not the best at 2K. We all know that, man. I jump online, have some fun. But man, let me tell you, bro, this jump shot is it. I do like my Cameron Johnson base still. I'll probably end up going back to that later down the road, but this jump shot is so good that I got Zen allegations. So <laughs> that's always a good sign, right? When you get Zen allegations. So let's go ahead and get into it, man. Once again, this is my three level threat. He does have a high mid range. And so that's why I'm able to unlock this. So if you have a high mid range or a high three pointer, you definitely have to try this out. I was recommending Cameron Johnson and Cameron Johnson is good too, but the T-Mac base, bro, come on, man. You see it. The stats on this base are so good besides the release speed, but you can speed the release up. So it really doesn't matter to me, but it has an A release height, A plus defensive immunity, which is important on NBA 2K24 and A minus time and stability, which is also important. You combine that with Clay Thompson for release one, and release two, which has an A on defensive immunity and an A plus on time and stability, bro, this jump shot is too clutch. So overall we have an A plus release height, a B minus release speed, an A on defensive immunity and a B on time and stability. And once again, defensive immunity and time and stability are really important on NBA 2K24. If anything, you want to make sure those are up. It's definitely not the end all be all, but that's what makes the Tracy McGrady base so OP. And I'll explain later in the video. All right. So like I said before, a defensive immunity, B time and stability. You can see your mid range shot has to be at least an 87 plus or your three point shot has to be an 87 plus. And you have to be taller than six, five and shorter than six, 10. So this is perfect for those 6-6 builds out there that are being made with high shooting attributes. If you equip the T-Mac base, man, you'll be shooting over everybody. And of course, when it comes to my release queue, I love set point. Like set point is perfect for me. It just feels right, it's smooth, it makes sense. But a lot of people are using push. So if set point is too fast, definitely try out push and see how that works for you. But I think regardless, like, T-Max base is so good that it's not even going to matter whether you set point push release, you're going to be greening while people are in your face. And I think that's why dude told me like things in my videos are looking fishy, <laughs> even though I don't know how to explain it. Like I'm, I'm way too lazy to cheat, to go through and try to cheat and then cover it up to make it look like you're not cheating. I'm too lazy for that. But the T-Max base is just that good and it's because of the defensive immunity and the time and stability once you combine those grades bro if they're high it's going to be looking really good for you because one there's going to be less ghost contest or not even just ghost contest but there would just be less contest in general because you have that defensive immunity up pretty high when it comes to the time and stability if people are around you your jump shot won't be sped up as much so it'll be way easier to time consistently. I'm not going to lie to you, bro. This T-Mac base, it has me acting out of body a little bit, mainly because you can pull up off the dribble. Like you'll see with this jump shot in 3v3 Pro-Am, I can handle the rock a little bit. I feel confident because of the defensive immunity and the time and stability. Look, I'm trying to tell y'all, bro, I'ma get right on 2K24, man. Especially when that new patch comes out, like, I'm trying to elevate my game a little bit. I showed you the hybrid defender already, bro. I have that in the cut chilling, still working on that build. I have a couple more builds in my back pocket and don't get it twisted. Like the hot flyer build is coming back once that patch drops. But as of right now, we're just DeMar DeRozan with it, bro. We're Kobe with it. I have this three level threat trying to get my handles right. Matter of fact, in the comments below, I need y'all to help me out. I helped you out with a jump shot base you know what I'm saying? Help me out with the handles, bro. Teach me how to do anything because right now I'm looking super ass and I don't like it. So give me some good sids to use. Give me a simple combo to use so I can implement that into my game. I would highly appreciate it. But other than that, look, the T-Mac base is the way to go. Once again, I do like the Cam Johnson base. 
But with T-Mac, bro, you can just pull up in people's faces. You can see the coverage. It's wide open every time. In order for somebody to get a smothered or a real contest, bro, they have to be in your jersey, bro. And most of the time, people aren't in your jersey because they're so worried about the drive. I don't blame them. What can I say, man? 2K23 traumatized people. So look, let me know if you rock the T-Mac base. Let me know if you're able to use it and what do you think about it? Because for me, this is the best jump shot I've used on 2K24. It's up there with Cam Johnson base for sure, but it's better than Dyson Daniels. It's better than JT Thor, of course, as it should be. Those are like budget bases, but but if you have a pretty high shooting attribute, bro, and you're not rocking T-Max base, you're missing out, man. Like I said before, it's just the contest. You're not able to be contested with this base. Well, you are, but the defender has to do a lot. So check it out. Let me know what you think. I have more 2K on the way soon, so be on the lookout. You all be easy. Peace.